Clarence Darrow was born in the rural village of Farmdale, Ohio, on April 18, 1857. He attended Allegheny College in Pennsylvania, as well as the University of Michigan Law School. Though he didn't graduate from either, mainly due to financial shortages, he was a self-starter. Through self-study, he was admitted to the bar in 1878. Over the span of his life, Darrow became an iconic hero, protecting the weak and embattling the strong. Evolving as a lawyer, he rose up against the most malevolent forces in the latter-day world. He battled powerful entities from industry, government, politics, and religion, all capable of brutalizing common men and women of society. Darrow was disgusted by the disparity between the weak and the powerful. He valiantly fought back and emerged as a champion of ordinary people. Dressed in a crumpled suit, Darrow often hooked his thumbs in his suspenders and addressed the jury in the simplest of terms, but with passionate conviction. He warned society of the self-centered wealthy who would readily deny mankind of the liberties assured by our forefathers. He was courageous in his defense of union leaders such as Big Bill Haywood and Eugene Debs. He was bold in his fight for the rights of American coal workers and their families. A worker's right to organize was procured largely by Clarence Darrow. In defending Dr. Ossian's suite against his murder charges, Darrow became a pioneer in the battle for the civil rights of all Americans. He championed socialists and communists during the Red Scare of the 1920s and assured the most radical forces of the labor movement their day in court. During the Scopes Monkey Trial in Dayton, Tennessee, he advocated for academic freedom and the separation of church and state. And of course, here Darrow went head to head with the revered William Jennings Bryan. This confrontation was immortalized in Inherit the Wind. Clarence Darrow defended murderers, anarchists, bootleggers, thieves, crooked public servants, etc., etc., etc. He was non judgmental, non religious, and non absolute. He even stood by the thrill killers, Leopold and Loeb, whereby his only mission was of mercy. During his time, Americans drew incredible inspiration as Clarence Darrow fought for the underdog and won. In our time, many still do.